All right, let's kick this first session off by talking about what Apache Spark actually is and why you should learn it right now. Now let's have a look at a very common data platform architecture, which many companies have in place like this. Now we have a data lake, which is basically a file based storage layer, which is very cheap for storing large amounts of data. So here we have open file formats and most of the data is stored in files. On the producing side, we have applications which actually produce data, which we then have to ETL. So we have to transform and load them into the data lake so that we can use them in our analytics use cases. Now, as many BI, so business intelligence and reporting um, use cases are based on SQL, many companies still have a data warehouse in place as we know it as a relational database like Oracle or any other relational database management system. So the data from the data lake has to be ETL'd a second time into the data warehouse for structured analysis based on SQL. Additionally, we have advanced analytics use cases like machine learning or AI. So all of these things, they are usually built with libraries which are designed for file access. And therefore, the advanced analytics use cases access the data lake directly. That's one of the arguments for having a data lake in the first place. Also, the data warehouse, if it becomes very large, it may become very, very expensive to operate and to pay for the licenses. That's why we have the so-called two-tier architecture. Now let's look at the role of Spark in this architecture. And as you can see, it's appearing basically everywhere on this small chart here. So we use it for ETA pipelines into the data lake. We use it for ETA pipelines into the data warehouse. We use it also for business intelligence and reporting use cases by accessing the data warehouse or the data lake and also advanced analytics use cases, whether it may be for pre-processing of the data for advanced analytics like machine learning use cases or to build machine learning use cases themselves. So therefore, uh, Spark is a very, very important skill. Now Spark also has connectors built in to all of the major data sources within the entire big data ecosystem. So we have HDFS, for being a data lake, for example, HBase, Postgres, so uh, SQL databases as well, uh, Kafka as a streaming data source, and many, many more. Hey, and sorry for interrupting your learning. If you would like to become a pro level Spark engineer within a short period of time, I would like to point you to my individual coaching program, which you can find in my academy. Now I will work with you over the course of 12 weeks as if we were colleagues in a professional working setup meaning we will have weekly sessions and in between I will ask you to complete assignments and we are going to do code reviews together. Also, you will get access to all of the video courses that exist in my academy and you can ask me any question you have about Apache Spark. Within this 12 weeks, I will teach you everything I know about Apache Spark from 10 years of experience as a freelance data engineer. In this academy, you can also find many video courses, for example, on PySpark and Spark with Scala, also an in-depth course on understanding Spark internals. All right, let's waste no time and continue on the course. Now, Spark is basically a distributed processing engine. So it is able to distribute our workload among a entire cluster of machines. So that may be one, two, three, ten, dozens, or even hundreds of machines, which can work together to execute the work, the workload we are specifying in our program. So it provides an SQL like API, which is declarative. So we write SQL like code in the user program and Spark the framework does all of the or handles all of the distributedness to actually execute our program among a cluster of machines. And that's why it's quite complicated or it's a vast piece of engineering if you look at the Spark execution model. Now, Spark provides many APIs for, or provides APIs for many languages. So there would be SQL for Spark SQL, so we can write plain SQL queries, or we can use Python, that's what we're gonna do here in this course, Scala, Java, or R. 
And then we have at the bottom Spark Core, which is the distributed execution model. So that models or abstracts away all the distributedness of the workload being distributed among an entire cluster of machines. And in between, we have multiple higher level abstractions. So on the left side, we see Spark SQL, which provides an SQL-like declarative API for data analytics use cases. Then there's also a machine learning library, which implements many machine learning algorithms. And then there's also GraphX, which is an abstraction for graph-like data. So to wrap this up, Spark is an incredible piece of engineering, which can execute analytics workloads we specify in a program, distributed on an entire cluster. And it is highly demanded in today's data platforms because it is used in many, many places within these architectures. Therefore, it's a very essential skill for everyone who would like to become a data engineer or also a machine learning engineer.